بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از محمد جہانگیر خان اینڈ آئی ایم اے اسٹوڈنٹ آف ایم ایس سی آنرز اینیمل نیوٹریشن یونیورسٹی کالج آف ایگریکلچر یونیورسٹی آف سگودا ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک وچ از انڈر ڈسکشن از سگنیفیکنس آف فیڈ ایڈیٹوز فار لائف اسٹاک اینڈ پولٹری سو فرسٹ آف آل what is a feed additive feed additives are non nutritive substances preparations and microorganisms that are added to animal feeds to improve growth performance feed intake and the efficiency of feed utilization so classification of feed additives in how many types we can classify these feed additives that are as follows additives may be classified into the following categories number 1 technological additives for example preservatives antioxidants emulsifiers stabilizing agents acidity regulators silage additives number 2 sensory additives The example of sensory additives are flavorings, colorants. Number three, nutritional additives. For example, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, trace elements. Number four, antibiotic additives. And number fifth, the last is zootechnical feed additive. A zootechnical feed additive is any additive used to affect favorably the performance of animals in good health. now we will discuss the following feed additives as follows toxin binders pellet binders anticoxidials antibiotics growth promoters antifungal agents probiotics and prebiotics enzymes pigments flavoring agents worming compounds ammonia controlling compounds and direct fed microbial microbials for ruminant animals Number 1 is toxin binders. Mycotoxins are small and quite stable molecules which are extremely difficult to remove or eradicate and which are considered to be a great threat both for human and animal health in global terms. Especially in farm animals, mycotoxins can cause decreased performance, reducing in feed consumption, weakening of immunity or immune system, reprodu- reproductive disorders. diminished body weight weight gain and residues on food products of animal origin the mycotoxins of major concern as feed contaminants that are potentially re- removable from feed are mainly aflatoxins aflatoxins xerolinon and eradication can be done by altering the ph of the feed organic acids are one of the examples of the toxin binders pellet binders pellet binders are the chemicals which not only bind the feed material but also helps in improving its texture and acceptability some of the feed stuffs like corn and soybean are hard to bind during milling them so in that case we use those compounds and chemicals which helps in binding them together same in the case with wheat pellet binders are helpful in binding these feed stuffs and ultimately achieve the goal of making good pellet feed the example of pellet binders are lignosulfonate or colloidal clays at the rate of 5 to 12 kg per ton anticoxidials anticoxidials are the agents that are used in feed to prevent coccidiosis which is a protozoal disease caused by ameria tenella etc anticoxidials are used in diet for the most meat birds and young breeding stock that are reared in the litter floors monansin has been a very successful anticoxidial and seems to work very well with both broiler chicken and turkeys amprolium is used extensively in diets for growing breeder pellets because unlike the ionophores it allows some build up of immunity 
एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड ग्रोथ प्रमोटर्स एंटीबायोटिक्स आर द सब्सटेंसेस यूज्ड इन फीड टू प्रिवेंट प्राइमरी बैक्टीरियल इंफेक्शंस एंटीबायोटिक्स आर यूज्ड इन फीड टू मेंटेन गुड हेल्थ स्टेटस ऑफ एनिमल्स यूज ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक एज ए फीड एडिटिव इज कंट्रोवर्शियल नाउ अ डेज बिकॉज़ इट्स यूज मे इंड्यूस डिजीज रेजिस्टेंस not only in birds but also in human beings for that sake use of antibiotics as a feed additive is restricting gradually term prevention prevention is always better than cure is also aiding the concept of limited use of antibiotics as a feed additive growth promoters growth promoters are the substances that are added to feeds as supplement or injection to improve feed utilization and growth of the farm animals all non nutrient all non nutrient feed additives such as antibiotics and exogenous enzymes that improve animal growth can be described as growth promoters example of growth promoters are vaginamycin and prostinamycin the next feed additive is antifungal agents antifungal agents are the compounds that prevent the growth of fungus mold on any feed stuff examples of different antifungal agents in feed number 1 is genitin violet that also helps in keeping good gut microflora second is organic acid and third one is aluminosilicates zeolites probiotics and prebiotics probiotics live microorganisms usually bacteria that are similar to beneficial microorganisms found in the animal gut similar to the situation with antibiotics the the mode of action is still unclear although the following benef benefits have been suggested number 1 beneficial change in gut flora with reduction in population of e coli number 2 lactate production with subsequent change in intestinal ph number 3 production of antibiotic like substances number 4 reduction of toxin release or suppression of aspergia coli prebiotics prebiotics are aimed at supplying probiotics with an advantageous source of nutrients implying that their needs are different to those of the host and or different to those of potential pathogens a prebiotic is defined as a non digestible food ingredient that beneficially affects the host by selecting selectively stimulating the growth and or activity of one or limited number of bacteria examples are lactobacillus bacillus streptococcus pediococcus and enterococcus enzymes an enzyme is a substance that act as a catalyst in living organisms regulating the rate of which at which chemical reactions proceed without itself being altered in the process enzymes are now being manufactured specially for feed use and can be broadly cat categorized as carbohydrates proteinases and lipases currently enzymes are used mostly common commonly to aid digestion of diets enzymes tailored for barley therefore contain beta glucanase enzymes while those designed to improve wheat digestibility should contain cellulase and arab arabinoxylase enzymes this is a figure which shows how enzymes work in in this figure we can see the enzyme substrate complex and enzymes are very much specific to their substrate pigments feed pigments are generally used to enhance the appearance and nutritive value of animal feed among all the feed pigments carotenoids plays the most important role and also dominate the feed pigments market animals are unable to synthesize carotenoids and rely on their diet for those compounds xanthophyll content of selected ingredients are as follows ingredient corn it has 20 xanthophyll wheat 4 milo 1 alfa alfa meal 175 mg per kg corn gluten meal uh, have 275 mg per kg and marigold petal have the highest 7000 mg per kg
this is the difference between a pigmented feed or uh, or, or, or the feed that do, don't contain the pigments flavoring agents flavor is described as the blend of taste and smell sensations evoked by a substance in the mouth the chicken is not usually considered to have the ability to select feed based on flavor or organoleptic per se the chicken has only about 24 to 300 taste buds in comparison to 9000 in humans and 25000 in cattle flavor agents may be beneficial in masking any unpalatable ingredients and for maintaining a constant feed flavor during formulation changes flavor may also be useful tool in masking any undesirable changes in drinking water during medication it is conceivable that use of single flavor agent in both feed and medicated water may prevent some of the refusal seen with the medicated water especially for turkey pullets worming compounds most floor ground birds are exposed to the infection from various species of worm in many instances such challenges can be prevented or minimized with the use of antithelmintic agents products based on piperazine and hygromycin have been used mostly commonly over the last 15 to 20 years deworming in large animal as well as in poultry is essential for maintaining their good health status it helps in improved utilization of feed by the body because parasite may consume essential nutrients from bloodstream resulting in altered health status and loss of nutrients from the body to prevent the losses and importance of maintaining good health status it is essential to use worming compounds in feed as a feed additive the next feed additive is ammonia controlling compounds various extracts of the yucca plant are claimed to reduce ammonia levels in poultry houses a soluble component of the yucca plant seems able to bind ammonia preventing its release from manure which is especially important in confinement housing systems most poultry will react adversely to 50 parts per million ammonia and this is in contrast to level of 20 to 30 parts per million which is the usual detection range for humans products such as deodorase added to feed at 100 and 100 to 150 gram per ton have been shown to reduce environmental ammonia levels by 20 to 30 percent and this is and this has been associated with improved growth rate and reduced mortality now the last feed additive is direct fed microbials for ruminant animals or in other words we can uh, say dfms direct fed microbial are dietary supplements that inhibit gastrointestinal infection and provide optimally regulated micro microbial environments in the digestive tract as the use of antibiotics in ruminant feeds has been banned dfm have been emphasized as antimicrobial replacements microorganisms that are used in dfm for ruminants may be classified as lactic acid producing bacteria lab and lactic acid utilizing bacteria lub lab may have beneficial effects in the intestinal tract and rumen both lab and lub potentially moderate rumen conditions and improve feed efficiency yeast DFM may reduce harmful oxygen, increase feed digestibility, and improve fermentation in the rumen. DFM may also compete with and inhibit the growth of pathogens, stimulate immune function, and modulate microbial balance in the gastrointestinal tract. LAB may regulate the incidence of diarrhea and improve weight gain and feed efficiency. Lacting, lactic acid utilizing bacteria improved weight gain in calves dfm has been reported to improve dry matter intake milk yield fat corrected milk milk yield and milk fat content content in mature animals 
now we will talk about the product name or marketing names of the different feed additives available in market growth motors enradin stafac maxis linkos kelia linko basitrex probiotics gut care closed alsac and nutriplex yeasts yeasac enzymes picozyme natozyme microtech vtrr vtr ronozyme hemicell ronofos quantum blue extra extra zap chemizyme plus concentrated extension extend essential energy plus flavor chemix n100 coxidiostat and coal clopidol diclazoral and medura thank you for listening assalamu alaikum